are going to be America's leaders. And whether we succeed or fail, we will be leading the greatest nation on earth. And I'm not talking 20 years from now. I'm not talking 10 years from now. I'm talking right here, right now. Don't just sit on the sidelines and cheer. Get in the game. My challenge to you is this. Before you go thinking you can lead others, make sure you're leading yourself on the right path with the right goals, with persistence, courage, and a relentless attitude of positivity. Then others will follow the example you set. And then you'll not only be making a difference, but you'll be creating leaders who will make a difference. The motivation that he has and the enthusiasm gets you excited, pumped up, one of the things I like the best is he said you have to evolve, and that's so true today. If you don't, you know, the world's going to change around you and you're going to be lost and left behind. He showed us how he put his own two hands in developing his whole entire business from the ground up. Actions speak louder than, a whole lot louder than words. Now you might be asking yourself, should I bring in a professional speaker or a business leader who faces the same day-to-day -day challenges, setbacks, and frustrations that perhaps you do? My first company, which I built from scratch 20 years ago, is Dark Horse Recording. It's a four-studio complex where artists such as Tim McGraw, Jewel, Taylor Swift, Keith Urban, Allison Krauss, Neil Diamond, and countless others come to record their albums. Then more recently, I founded Dark Horse Institute, which is now considered the most comprehensive audio engineering school in the country. As a veteran in the entertainment industry, I knew traditional teaching models wouldn't properly equip our students for a recording career in such a competitive industry. So we made a commitment to provide them with a hands-on, real-world, full immersion learning experience that would give them the competitive edge. This is going to be more than a keynote speech. It will be an opportunity for us to connect and explore ways to evolve. Many of the competitive advantages that put you into your business and made you successful in the first place are no longer sustainable moving forward. But with each and every challenge you and your organization are facing comes even greater opportunity. Because great leadership is almost always forged out of crisis and adversity. I believe the great leaders, it's as if they're wearing bifocals. Because you see, with bifocals on, it allows you to shift your vision back and forth. One moment, looking at the big picture, thinking about the grand scheme, and the next moment, zooming in on the smallest attention to detail. I mean, think about it. You must be able to think short-term and long-term simultaneously. You must be able to squeeze every drop out of every resource, and at the same time, you must think outside the box and <laughs> dream big. You must question everything simultaneously, you must walk around with a relentless attitude of positivity. Well, listen, leadership and all its paradoxes and complexities really boils down to your ability to influence others. And that ability cannot be awarded or appointed. It must be earned. Meeting planners often ask, Robin, what does guitar playing have to do with all of this? Well, it just so happens that I used to be an RCA recording artist, and I have 11 albums out. And in about half of my keynote presentations, I perform three or four numbers on different guitars that I bring. It's not only fun and entertaining, but my guitar playing serves as a powerful metaphor for self-discipline, achieving excellence, bringing creative ideas to life, and even lessons on perseverance. Every innovative business has a great story, and when you drill down below the surface, you'll find business leaders who are constantly rethinking and reinventing the way they do business. I should know, because for the last three decades I've been running my own entrepreneurial startups, and even as we speak I continue to navigate my companies through these crazy tumultuous times using the same principles, tools, and strategies that I teach. So how would you like your story to read? 